Hi friends, welcome to Competitive Kida. So we are here today with the part 3 of the most common errors. We are going to spot the errors and correct them. We will give you some tips and tricks with explanation so that you can easily find out the errors in your examination. Ok, so without wasting much time, let's go to the first part. What is it? It is noun. We know noun is a very important part of a sentence. So we will first study about it. Let's go to the first rule. See what it says. The following words are uncountable and are normally used in singular form only. The indefinite article a or an should not be used with them. Ok. A or an are normally used to indicate that, that, that this is only one. Ok. But in case of uncountable noun, we cannot say it is one or two or three. As we are saying it uncountable. Ok. So, luggage, baggage, breakage, advice, furniture, information, scenery. These are some examples of these type of words. So, see the example. The sceneries of Kashmir is very beautiful. Scenery. It should be used in singular form always. It cannot be used as sceneries. Okay. Sceneries is wrong. So, it should be scenery. The sceneries of Kashmir is very beautiful. So, this part is wrong. What should be the answer? The answer is the scenery of Kashmir is very beautiful. It should be used in singular form. Okay. Now, the next rule. Some nouns have the same form whether singular or plural. See, he saw two ships in the zoo. And what example we have given here? Ship, deer, service, species, fish. These are used in singular form always. We can, the form can be singular or plural but the noun should be only singular because it, it has no plural form at all. We cannot use sip. It should be always sip. So the answer here is he saw two ship in the zoo. Okay. It cannot be ships. This one is correct. This one is wrong. Okay. Now the next rule. Add S to the main word in compound noun to make it plural. See this is a compound noun. Sister-in-law. Okay. But what is the main part and what is the secondary part? Sister is the main part here and law is the secondary part. So while using it in the plural form, we should make the main part as plural. Means the S should be added to the main part. So the answer here should be sisters-in-law instead of sister-in-laws. We cannot add the S in the secondary part. Now the next rule in noun. After the phrases one of, some of, each of, either of, neither of, any of, none of, a plural form of noun is used. See, when we are using one of, it means many are there and we are choosing one of them. Some of means there are many and we are still choosing some of them. So both are plural. So in this case, we cannot use the singular form. One of my best friend. When we are telling that one of, then obviously there are many. How can we use the singular one? So, one of my best friends is correct and this one is wrong. Okay. Now, the next example. An apostrophe and S should be used with leaving beings only to show position. Okay, this apostrophe S is used. Why? To show the position, the table's legs were broken. Is this correct or wrong? Tell me. So this is wrong. Why? Because see, this is not a living being, table. It is a non-living being. So we cannot use this apostrophe as here. What we should use instead of it, we can use of. See, the correct answer, the legs of the table were broken. Okay. So, we are over with the noun part. Not over. For today's episode, we had only these many examples. So, in the next part, we will give you some more examples. Now, we will move to the conjunction part. This is very important because mainly in this section, people commit a lot of mistake. Okay. So, we will discuss some rules here. After the adverbs, hardly, scarcely, the conjunction when or before should be used. See, this is hardly. In the example and what we have taken here we have used than hardly had he left the place 
then the bomb exploded so what the rule says it says that whenever we are using hardly or scarcely then when or before should be used so what is the correct form and the bomb exploded so this when is correct okay now next after rather other the subordinating conjunction than must be used after rather and other what was the last example it was that see hardly scarcely means we are using when or before now this one rather other with that we should use than i would rather buy a scooter but not a cycle we cannot use but here whenever we are using this rather we should use than so the correct form is i would rather buy a scooter than a cycle okay so rule number 3 until denotes time and unless denotes condition okay these are two conjunctions and we have to find out their use until whenever you are using it it means it denotes the time okay we will take two examples here first example you will not succeed until you work hard what is it it is a conditional sentence if we use its positive form then what will it be you will succeed only if you work hard so this is a condition so instead of until we should use unless okay so the correct form is you will not succeed unless you work hard this one is correct now i want to stay here unless he speaks the truth it means till the time he speaks the truth so the answer here will be this one is wrong and the answer is i want to stay here until he speaks the truth now rule number 4 the adverb not should not be used with the connective till unless lest and until also until he does not solve this problem i will stay with him okay so we cannot use this not with until what we should do here we should convert it to some other form what is it a form without this not okay so the answer here is until he solves his problem i will stay with him now comes the articles this is also a very very important part so the first rule says if the noun is proper it will take no article before that we need to know what is a proper noun proper noun is a name used for a particular person a place or any organization so see i live in the mumbai this is a place so we this is a proper noun okay so we cannot use the here the answer should be i live in mumbai this should not be there now the next articles are not used with material nouns material noun means friends the gold silver copper these are all material nouns so the gold is yellow this is wrong the should not be used with material nouns the or any other articles it should not be used with gold so the answer is gold is yellow now next when a title is given with name don't use article but when it is used without name use article the this is a little bit complicated see so we'll understand it one by one when a title is given with name don't use article okay we'll take the example president it is the title and pranam mukherjee it is the name so we do not use the article here president pranam mukherjee announced in the meeting okay now the president announced in the meeting is this correct or wrong see the second part when it is used without name use the article the there was the name pranam mukherjee so we did not use the but in case of the second example it is only president so the should be used so both sentences are correct we use the definite articles the with countries whose names include words like kingdom states or republic this is a direct rule so the united kingdom the united states the people's republic of china this you have to use now the fifth and the last example we use the definite article the with geographical features like mountain ranges rivers sea oceans etc so the himalayas the atlantic ocean you cannot say only atlantic ocean so friends that's all for today 
if you are watching our channel for the first time then please subscribe us and we can and you can also mail us at competitivekita@gmail.com see friends we have become a family now your problem is our problem also so if you are having any doubt in any area then please mail us and we'll be providing that sometimes there may be a little bit delay due to the work pressure but see friends we'll try our best to cater to your needs thanks a lot